Hey everyone, Shane here with eTraw.com. Today I have a 2018 Acura RDX. I'm gonna walk through how to install the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness. Wiring harness is gonna give us our four pole connection, so if we're pulling a trailer or anything that has lights on it, it's gonna give us those proper lighting functions from our vehicle. It's gonna live inside the vehicle, so it's gonna stay out of the weather. When we're not using it, it's gonna stay tucked in nice behind this panel. When we're ready to use it, simply pop this panel off and we can run it outside to our trailer. You can see we're gonna have plenty of length. So if our trailer wiring may be a little bit short, we know we're gonna be able to reach it. It is gonna come with a dust cap to help protect our connections when we're not using it, keep any dirt and debris from clogging up the holes. We're gonna run it right over top of the seal. We wanna make sure we stay away from any connection points. When we're done using it, you simply roll it up, put it right back into the storage compartment so it's ready to go for the next time. The nice thing about this wiring harness is gonna have a converter box. And what that converter box does is it protects our factory wiring on our vehicle from any backfeed from the trailer. So let's say our trailer has a short. That short is gonna follow back up the wire, but once it hits that converter box, that converter box is gonna stop it, again, keep it from damaging our factory wiring. The installation process is very simple. It's gonna plug in directly behind that panel. You're gonna have a ground wire you have to attach, and then you have one fused install, which is up in the front of the vehicle. Again, very simple to install. You can do it at home, vehicle on the ground, right in your driveway. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk through how to get it installed. To start our installation, we're gonna come over to this panel right here on our driver's side. We're gonna pop it out. We're gonna be looking for the plug that matches this end. It's gonna be located behind this panel, right about here. So you're gonna to have to reach up in there feel where it is because it's kind of hard to uh, get both your hands up there. The plug is only going to install on that one way. We're just going to take it and we're going to push it on until we hear it click. Once we get that plugged in, we need to find a place to ground our wire. This box right here, on either side there's a 10 millimeter head bolt. We're going to remove either one And we're going to ground it right in that location underneath that bolt. Take our ground wire, slide it over the bolt, and reinstall it. Once we get our ground wire installed, we're going to take our converter box and install it onto our plug. It's only going to install one way. Clip it together like that. Then we're going to mount our converter box right inside of this panel here. You can take a zip tie and you're going to run it right through this hole. So it might be easier if you take the wire, feed it through, the, get your zip tie on here first. your wire through it like that clip on your converter box and then we can tighten down the zip tie and the rest of this can be stored right down inside here once you get done with all that We'll go up to the front and we'll install our small fuse into the trailer tow location. Now up in our engine compartment, driver's side, right behind our air box, we have our fuse panel. We're gonna pop the lid off. And notice these greenish fuses. The center row from this end, one, two, three, four, there's an empty spot. We're going to take the 20 amp fuse that comes in the kit and we're going to install it in that location. Once we get that installed, we'll test everything out and make sure it's working correctly. Left turn, right turn, brake lights, running lights. Once you've tested it out, you know everything's working correctly, you're ready to go. It's going to do it for look at and installation on the 
Takacha T1 vehicle wiring harness on a 2018 Acura RDX.